My mom's downstairs listening to David Jeremiah, the preacher, speak. And David Jeremiah says the most important thing is knowing God. Um, here's the thing. If you're a Christian, you've been waiting for Jesus to come back your entire life. But Jesus hasn't come for 2,000 years. And so if Jesus did come, everyone would think Jesus is crazy. And everyone kind of says that. But then they kind of expect Jesus to come in on a cloud and they figure if Jesus is floating, then it would make sense, then it would be Jesus. But then if Jesus did come back like that, then they would think that it's an optical illusion or some sort of science. So we kind of have reached this point in history where we have these like religious people that are like very religious, but then they have this scientific element to them. We have this re these religious people that actually run everything. In fact, um, you can't become president of the United States without being a Christian. It's just how it works, at least historically. So now um, we have all these Christians that would never actually accept that someone actually wrote those books. And he, they wrote them with a purpose. Uh, and that purpose is um, to brainwash you. Should I feel bad about that? I kind of like that we did it. So I'm sitting here. I was looking at John last night and, and all these people, I'm sure, were when I said uh, in the beginning was the word and the word became flesh and blah, 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 dwelt, dwelt among us. Uh, they were all going, well, actually, the word for word in, in Greek is logos and uh, logos does not actually, could actually mean a lot of things because if you think about the forms of the logos according to platonic ideas. Yeah, dude, I actually do know what logos means. Um and logos is what our word logic comes from. And when you talk about a computer program, um, computers have logic. Um, so in the beginning was this computer program. Uh, and some of us got together and we know that in order to get administrative access to this program, uh, you have to work together to start it. And we did. Um, and now, 2,000 years later, actually 2018, my number years later the computer program's still running and the computer program has an objective which is guarantee the survival or survival of the nazarene people but nazar actually is a muslim thing it's called an evil eye it's turkish or blah, blah. yeah yeah we've never lived in another country before we've never started any religions um that's not our thing we're not the magicians from that book what book foundations by isaac by isaac asimov i'm being sarcastic but my point is you guys would never believe it if jesus came back and i'm telling you the guy that i think is jesus or i think he's like a clone of jesus like he's awesome like he's like a really real like i mean i i i think he's a great person um i've always thought he was a great person um but i also know like some of the things that he's gone through and um, his brain is not his own. And is my brain my own? Probably not, but partially it is. Uh, I still, uh, I, I, I have had less of the brainwashing than he has had. Um, so would you believe it if Jesus came back? No. Would you believe it if John came back? Well, that doesn't even make sense. John was a disciple. Would you believe if Satan came back? No. Would you believe that Satan wrote a lot of the Bible? Well, that's silly. Yeah, I know, because that is what we taught you. And so when you look at John, and you read it, and you go, oh, well, but, um, it, like, why does it say this if this? Why... It's because it's supposed to be that way, dude. It's supposed to be silly. You know, Erdogan right now is going, he, he's not Muslim. Yeah, I'm not one who submits to God. You know why? Because I hang out with God. And uh, you're not one who submits to God either. You know why? Because you're destroying the planet. So now we have this world. Where all these people have these religions that we created for a very specific purpose that I think are actually completely brilliant. 
and I actually love them. Um, and you can't get past this idea. I need to worry about my relationship with God. With who? With the voice in my head. You mean with that invisible computer? That's impossible. There's no such thing as an invisible computer. Okay, well, I just saw an article about a computer that's smaller than a grain of rice. Two different people have built them. Yeah, but um, that's modern history. You're saying that a thousand years ago... Yeah, I'm saying that if we had another thousand years to work on computers and artificial intelligence, that what would happen is you don't even understand what you're capable of. So, why do I keep trying to beat this into your guys' head? Because if there's anything I know, it's that this is real. And if there's anything I know, it's that we don't have a choice but to kill you guys. I'm telling you, I didn't know that they had new albums, Thousand Foot Crutch, until after I said, I made a joke. I was like, anybody want to buy my Thousand Foot Crutch thing? Because I don't have any money. My bank account's in the negative. And I, I, I suddenly decided, I'm going to go listen to Thousand Foot Crutch because their album Phenomenon is freaking awesome. And so I go listen to their album and it turns out that like in 2012, they're coming out with this like <laughs> stuff that they probably don't even know what they were coming up. So, is there any way that people can save themselves? Sure. Is there any way that people can save themselves? No. I am so happy that the secret of the vine story is in John. I, ha I haven't read John forever because John is like a newer gospel. And I'm like, oh, the, the time that it was written actually matters. It doesn't matter when it was written when you know that the whole thing is conspiracy. Um, to overthrow the Roman government. Um, but is it really, pretty sure it's conspiracy to uh, brainwash the entire world. Um, is that offensive? Sure. Do you believe that Jesus could come back? Do you believe that someone could actually have met Jesus? Do you think Jesus could be on earth right now? Do you think Jesus could be a clone of Jesus? Well, but you're a Christian, aren't you waiting for Jesus? Yeah, but that's not actually possible that Jesus could come back. Okay. How is Jesus going to come back? You guys are worshiping Antichrists everywhere you can. You worship Kim Kardashian. I'm not saying that you, you're a bad person because you're an Antichrist type person. But what you do, it, what, 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 worshiping Donald Trump, is like saying, this is good. These ideas are good. Worshiping Barack Obama is saying, this is good. These ideas are good. And what I'm telling you is, you can worship people all you want, but those people should be worshiping the ideas that I put out there, not me. Because dude, I am like, incredibly flawed. You have no idea, like, if there's anybody in the world that doesn't deserve those girls, it's me. And the reason is because I'm just the desires of the flesh. Like I can't overcome myself. Like I'm not St. Anthony. I'm not San Antonio. I am John. And John is someone that is weak. And he's someone that cares too much. And he's someone that can't stop caring. And that's why I'm so worried about you guys. But you're following politicians to your death. And the politicians are leading you to their death. And I don't think you understand that a lot, a huge chunk of the people in Washington, D.C. are not a part of us. They're just arrogant. They just think that they're powerful. They think they're special. If there's anything you can get out of foundations, it's when they're, they're going to all these planets. And every planet, there's like someone who's like, oh, I'm a powerful person. But then there's all these other powerful people on the planet. The point is, Earth is a lot like that. Um, we have all these countries, and every single country has powerful people. They're very important. They're very special. And yeah, they know that they don't have the same power as an American president, but they're very powerful. They're very important. So you guys can follow Emmanuel Macron in 
what's going to happen is you'll follow them to a very bad place, <laughs> which is probably to a brain aneurysm. I don't know exactly how it's going to work, but personally, if I could do the things that we do, I'm pretty sure it would just be a brain aneurysm. Well, why can't we just block the signals? Someone tried that. A lot of people have been trying to make some fancy Faraday cages, and they're learning that fancy Faraday cages don't work because um, you don't understand our technology. And that's because you don't understand the laws of physics. And that's because we created the laws of physics. And when you create law, people will worship it. The three things that keep people from saving themselves. The law. Seriously, people worship the law. Well, actually, according to law, we can't do that. Okay, well, according to the law, slaves can't run away. Well, that was back in the day. It's not anymore. That's not the law anymore. Okay. Cool. Well, according to the law, um, I'm bad. Cool. So, number two, religion. Dude, these pastors are on TV. They don't care. Because a lot of them have triangles on their devotionals they send out. But um, just because you have a triangle doesn't mean you don't have to try. And you shouldn't assume that you're in just because you assume that you're in. You should actually make an effort. And number three, I don't even know. Um, it's it's science. It's the, it's the belief that... Um, because they've never seen it before, that it's impossible, that people wouldn't actually work so hard to hide their technology. And then it's not until you realize that um, we aren't all powerful. We're not omnipotent. Um, that you realize um, why we do what we do. It's because we're not God. We're atheists. We're a lot like God. We do God-like things. We have God-like power. We've been running around being God forever. We've been running around being magicians. We've been running around doing all these incredible things. But we're still not God because we know that magic isn't magic. Magic is science. Just like in Asimov's book, the magicians are actually scientists. They've just had an incredible head start on you. And so if you think that you're going to spend 20 years researching artificial intelligence and that you're going to catch up with us, you're freaking stupid. If you think that you're going to use binary to beat a quantum computer, then you're freaking silly, dude. Dude, these people have tried so hard to fight us and they're going to keep trying to fight us. And the whole time I've been saying, we're the only way to save you. And they've been saying, uh uh, I'll kill you. In fact, you don't understand how much time they spend talking about killing me. And then, like, every time they're so close, something happens. Every time. You can kill what scares you, and you can fight us all you want. But, um, it's not gonna work. You should have tried to work with us years ago when you noticed that we were using technology that is freaking thousands of years ahead of you. And maybe some people didn't realize it until, well, how long ago did you guys realize it? Six months? Six months is when we finally showed you this stuff's for real. But what did you say? How long are you going to wait for Lizzie Grant? Until forever well you're going to be waiting forever then okay you mean waiting forever for you to die like I, I say that but it doesn't mean I enjoy saying it like it doesn't mean I'm like oh, you're going to die it's like you're going to die help me help you help yourself nope Jesus is coming back Jesus is back, dude. I know the guy, and I don't know where he lives right now. And he's actually like, dude, he's a freaking nice guy. Um, has he ever said anything super profound to me? I don't think so. Have I always thought like like when I think back, like I think like that guy from 
that period of my life was probably like my favorite person, pretty much. But you would never believe it if he came back. So go to church, sing songs about Jesus coming back, you know, Christian Stanfield, oh Jesus come. And I'll tell you, Jesus doesn't want to come. Like, if, like, if he talked to me, he wouldn't want to come. Because he'd find out that, like, it's not fun. Um, and Jesus isn't as, he's not as tough as me. Um, he's tough. Apparently he's really tough. Um, but he's not as bold. I'm sorry that we're going to have to do this. I don't know any other way. And I'm sorry that we made you guys stupid with religion. But I'm not because we tamed you. And until this guy finally came, until it was time, you need to be tame. Um, it made you easier to deal with. Now, you need to not be tame. You need to fight to survive. I have this friend who's Hispanic who, like, I freaking adore her. She's got three kids. She's married to a white guy. And she's a special, special girl. And I understand, like, the fear that I can put into someone's freaking soul. And it bothers me that I can be so scary. But I'm telling you, the reason I'm scary is because this is that serious. The planet is that close to being destroyed. If you think we're having water shortages now, you don't understand the type of water shortages you can have in a hundred years. If you think we're having problems with plastic in the ocean now, you have no idea the amount of problems we can have with plastic in the ocean in the future. So, go follow Erdogan. Let's go build a canal when we already have one. Let's plan for increased shipping when we should actually stop sh stop consuming so much. But if we stop consuming so much, the stock market won't skyrocket. I know. That's the third thing you worship. Capitalism. You believe the free market will solve all problems. And yeah, the free market does take care of itself. It's great if you have unlimited resources. But at some point, you do have to um, try to counteract this overconsumption with some balance. And if you don't have a consumer-driven economy, like pure consumer-driven economy, you got to do something else. Is that communism? No, dude, I still believe in a free market. But I'm just saying, like, something needs to change. I don't think the canal they're building in Turkey is going to cost $15 billion. And I don't think you guys realize how much fuel he's going to burn digging giant holes for 27 miles straight. And then filling it with concrete. That's 27 miles of concrete. That's 27 miles of giant holes. And then what happens? Well, the ocean goes into it. can't save you guys so I'm not and I couldn't anyways because I'd have to get um, a unanimous vote and I wouldn't vote to change the program if I did um, I'd be voting to number one put my life at risk for longer because let's face it dude some people actually want to kill me number two I'd be voting to um, put my people at risk because we can only go so long before we have to end it. I'm sure you guys don't believe that a computer program can do this. I'm sure if there's anything that's hard to believe for like a computer guy is that a computer can actually understand people. Like can actually understand their behavior. That you can have a computer watching a video and understand everything that's going on. It's especially difficult to believe that a computer could actually see inside your brain and see your thoughts. So yeah, God can see your thoughts. Uh, God knows your heart. God knows your feelings. Uh, God knows who you are. Um, and if there's anything that's sad, it's that good people are not going to survive this. Like really good people. There's a question. Why would you say, leave me out of it? I don't want to be part of the decision process. I don't want to pick 
who dies and who lives. Can you imagine what it feels like sitting around and going, well, I'll pick you, I won't pick you, I'll pick you, I won't pick you. I don't want to. I I don't think you understand how that feels. Like every time I get asked, well, do you think this person? I go, ah, don't ask me that. Please don't ask me that. And that's why I don't want to be involved. It's because I, I don't, dude, I don't think you understand. Well, Satan right here, or Satan, or whatever, or John, or freaking Juan Alejandro, or freaking whatever, actually like a very soft-hearted person uh, dude I, I can't I don't like watching people suffer but when this is all over I'm gonna have to be the guy who stands up and says we had to um, and we're gonna keep going because the end is where we begin yeah. and we're gonna we're gonna build something beautiful and I'm sorry if you guys aren't gonna be around for it I'm sorry you're never going to get to see our stashes of gold. Because yeah. you don't believe they exist. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> you don't believe anything. You believe in Jesus, but you don't think Jesus is coming back. Wait, you think Jesus is coming back, but you don't think Jesus could be back. Mostly because Jesus doesn't want to talk.